Hello friends, today's story is Roar of a Snore by Marsha Arnold. The sky was dark, the stars were bright, each huffle fast asleep that night. Except for Jack, eyes open wide, he tossed and turned, he groaned and sighed. Jack heard a noise that rocked the floor. He heard a noise that shook the door. Jack heard a snore, a mighty snore, a clamorous snore, a thundering, ear-splitting roar of a snore. Old Hound Dog Blue was sound asleep. He woofed and snuffled at Jack's feet. Wake up, Old Blue, and stop that snore. But Blue, Old Blue woke up. The snore still roared, so Blue and Jack went searching. Across the hall slept Mama Gwen. Her huffs and puffs made curlers spin. Wake up, Mama Gwen, and stop that snore. Mama Gwen woke up. The snore still roared, so Blue and Jack and Mama Gwyn went searching. Sweet baby Sue slept one door down. Her high-pitched snore made whistling sounds. Wake up, baby Sue, and stop that snore. Baby Sue woke up. The snore still roared, so Blue and Jack and Mama Gwen and Baby Sue went searching. Way down the stairs in his favorite chair snored Papa Ben like a grumbly bear. Wake up, Papa Ben, and stop that snore. Papa Ben woke up. The snore still roared, so Blue and Jack and Mama Gwen and Baby Sue and Papa Ben went searching. In the old porch swing slept the Huffle Twins, Josie Joe wheezed out, Jenny Lynn wheezed in. Wake up, you two, and stop that snore. The twins woke up. The snore still roared. So Blue and Jack and Mama Gwen and Baby Sue and Papa Ben and Josie Joe and Jenny Lynn went searching. They found their barn filled up with snores. The sheep, the goat, the cow, and more. Wake up, you critters, and stop those snores. The critters woke up. The snore still roared. So Blue and Jack and Mama Gwen and Baby Sue and Papa Ben and Josie Joe and Jenny Lynn and sheep and goat and cow and hens went searching. Up to the loft, the Huffles climbed to search together one more time. They searched the hay with drowsy eyes, and there they found a snore surprise. One lost kitten in the hay, snoring all his cares away. There he is. He's so tiny. I'll be horns woggled, Jack Huffle cried, his snores 3,000 times his size. Wake up, little cat, and stop that snore. The Huffles waited. The snore still roared. Now let him sleep, hushed Mama Gwyn. He needs his rest. He looks done in. He's traveled far across our field, said Papa Ben. He needs a meal. He needs a home, said Baby Sue. Woof, woof, agreed old hound dog Blue. All Huffle eyes were fixed on Jack. Jack sighed. Then grinned and looked right back. He's found a home. It's our haystack. So Jack and Blue and Mama Gwen and Baby Sue and Papa Ben and Josie Joe and Jenny Lynn and Sheep and Goat and Cow and Hens joined Little Cat and snuggled in. Each huffle added snuffles, huffs, wheezes, whistles, grumbles, puffs. One giant snore sailed through the night. At last, the huffles all slept tight. But down the road, eyes open wide, Molly Olson tossed and sighed. She heard... A snore... All right, that was one of my kids' favorite books when they were little. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.